is given in the figure below. From this density, the probability that x is greater than 1.72 or less than 0.14 is, okay, so a couple things. First of all, we see the word probability here, and that means that we are looking for an area as an answer. Now we know that area under, under a rectangular shape, the area of a rectangle is base times height. So we're gonna be using that. And also we have two regions that we have to figure out because we have the word or here. And if we remember from previous lessons, when we see the keyword or, it means we're gonna be adding probabilities together. So we want to figure out the probability of this one and the probability of this one. So let's start with this one first. And it says 1.72 is your x value. So on my x scale, the horizontal axis is x, okay? And so x being 1.72 is right around here. So I'm looking for the shaded region here, the rectangular shape with uh, base that will be equal to 2 minus 1.2. Now I'm also going to be looking for the other probability given here that x is x is greater or sorry less than 0.14. So we're going to come in and we're going to put 0.14 on the map it's somewhere over here most likely on the x scale. and we'll sh shade the region to the left since it said less than. So we've got two rectangular shapes that we're trying to find the area of, and we're gonna add those together. Now we mentioned that the area for a rectangle is base times height. Well, we can find the base of each of these by simply subtracting the numbers. So for the, the purple rectangle here, it'll be 0.14 minus zero is 0.14. And for the blue rectangle, the base will be two minus 1.72. But then for each of them, we're going to have to eat, multiply them times the height of the rectangle. Now, the height on both of these rectangles will be the same height. But what is it? Well, the probability density function on a uniform distribution is at a height of P of X, meaning the probability of X uniformly straight across. And it's always um, so that the entire area of the full size rectangle will have an area of one. Now, understanding that the total base of the range of x here gives me a rectangle of a base of two, forcing the height to have a height of one half. So that's what the height is of this rectangle. It's the one over the range. It's always one over the range. So here is a little diagram of how we approach these problems. We first find the probability of x, which is one over the range, right? So you might find the range of x first, then one divided by the range to get the height. And then you figure out your smaller rectangular areas, whatever the boundaries are, you'll subtract those to get your base and then multiply it times one over the range, the height of the rectangle. So for both of these, we can um, now answer the question. So we're gonna have our left blue rectangle, or was it purple? I believe it was like, this color, right? So the left rectangle is a height of 0.5 because it was 1 over 2. The base was 0.14 because it was 0.14 minus 0. So multiplying those together, we got an area of 0 0.07. Now the other rectangle, which we had colored in blue, was again a height of 0.5. The base was 2 minus 1.72, right? So the large, um, the maximum minus the boundary of 1.72. So we get a look at that again. 2 minus 1.72 gave us the base, and then when we multiply them, we get the area. Now, how do we get the total area, which is the answer to our question? We just add them together because it's one or the other would be favorable. So we can use the addition rule here and get our answer of 0.21.